So let's get into more advanced stuff with um, Tukan Studios Delay Machine 2. And the first thing you may have noticed I didn't explain in the last video um, was this function called ITG, which is the initial time gap for the delay line. By default, ITG is equal by the delay time. So if I turn here, the ITG knob equals. But I can also set that to independent mode. And now, as you can see in the graphics, I can set the start time for my delay line. So I can make a very short delay and on the left channel I'll delay the delay. Baby. Baby. And I can adjust that for the right channel as well. Baby. 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 And play around with things like that. I can delay the delay or I can do it earlier. So now we have a delay of uh, 1100 milliseconds and the ITG suits that as well but I can make it earlier. So by this we should have something like a ping pong delay. So that's the thing with the ITG. Let's have a look at this matrix down here. Um, where we can turn on the sync button for the delay lines and also for the ITG. And here we can select a quarter node, half a node, one bar, and so on. And we can turn that into triplets, or we can turn that into dotted mode. Now both delay lines react to what I select on delay line one, because they're linked. If they're not linked, you see, we can set that for each delay line. We can also set that for each ITG and make funny uh, delay clusters doing that. Another function I did not explain in the last video is this bit down here. It's just about the display. So we can zoom out till we have 10 seconds um, display time. Now it says 5 over here because we're seeing bars. So if I zoom in, you'll recognize that we have the quarter notes displayed here for bar 1 and then for bar 2 and so on. And we can set that to seconds, and now it displays the milliseconds or the seconds if we get zoomed out. So much for advanced features. See the next video for even more advanced features. <laughs>